Yeah, my it's it's not the green screen that's bad. It's my camera is terrible, and it has been one of my uh, Patreon goals for a while to upgrade that camera. I haven't reached it yet though. Um, right. Yeah, I think we're we're gonna do this. Just, just a tad. He's still hidden. The enemy approaches. Yeah, so if we can take those hostiles out, that would be amazing. Wait, why is there a second yellow thing? There? Oh, that's. It's telling me where the thing was. Okay. So don't fire until I give you the go ahead. What is your range? Oh, they're in range. Fire. These guys do not use shields. And it would be absolutely lovely to kill as many of them as possible. So, I will. Where are the cavalry? Those are archers. The cavalry are both on the right hand side. So, if I bring my cavalry to that. We have discovered the enemy's hidden units. Horsemen! Speed it charging us! We've thrown them completely into we chaos. Oh, the shot. Come on. No, too too long. Our hidden units have been discovered! Oh. Run away! Run away! You're the one I wanted to move there because all of you nice lot. Oh, you know what I haven't done? General. We're gonna pay. Oh, shit. <laughs> the general at the back. Whoa. Charge into that. Yeah, they've been nailing my cavalry. I've done the thing that I always do. Forgot the cavalry. Whoa, 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 whoa. Keep pressing space. I've been playing Pillars of Eternity too much. Don't do that. Those horses away from my archers. Slam into them. And I think I'm going to try to back you up. Archers. Archers are in range of their archers. Alright, so these cavalry have been pretty effective. Let's back you up. What I like to see. Let's obliterate that one. Horsemen! Bring out the fire! Horsemen! That man is bringing it! The enemy are on us! Battle up! Fire a body! Get them! Cavalry! Underhead! So they're going to hit that flank pretty hard. Whoa! Hello! Um, you stay, actually, no, stay, stay like there. Double time it, and then I'll put you into special formation. You guys just run. Losing. See, they flee before our might. Right, my archers are killing their archers. It's glorious. Our general is under attack! Cavalry charge into their flank. Glorious. Those javelins are not going to last for very long. Now they, General, have turned their back to me. Guess what's going to happen to them? Cavalry. 
cavalry charge into their back. And archers are shooting into them. They're going to turn around again, hopefully. Oof, oof. <laughs> satisfying. So I just realized you guys are actually down to like the dregs. So you need to run away. Run away! Run away! Don't you die! Yeah, just go off the field. I don't want to lose you. Mordred for getting and misusing cavalry? Never. Yeah, it's, it's been known to happen once or twice. It's a rare event, but it's been known to happen. Oh, you left my hostiles alone. Mistake! Archers, though, I'm pretty good at archers. The battle is turning in our favor. And actually this is a good thing that I've kept the long axes alive because they're the ones I use to breach walls. So if we do now have to force this assault, which we probably will, these are the guys I'll be sending up. Our men have turned tail and run, the cowards! Alright, let's go. How's the Pillars of Eternity playing, playthrough going? Slowly but surely, um, still doing the White March 2 uh, expansion at the moment. It, it's getting there. What I really ought to do is do the uh, character missions though. The companion missions, especially Edda, Palagina and Aloth. So I can go on to Pillars 2, which is what I really want to do. I mostly want to know what the ending is to understand what the hell Secret Society has been doing this entire game because I still don't understand what their motives are and also just the companion stuff because I want to see how it carries over. These berserkers are hardcore, but they are going to die. Every time you uh, yell or run away I think of them scenes from Monty Python and Holy Grail. That may or may not come from that. Hint. It's totally stolen from it. Okay, so one of my cavalry did nothing and got almost wiped out. The other one did a fair amount. Nothing compared to the archers, though. Long axes did actually chew a couple of guys up. You did some serious work. Nice. I lost 300, they lost 1,400. Whoops. Gone to Twin Elms yet? No. Well, 
technically, yes, I just haven't gone there yet. Unit replenishment. Um, oh, wow. Really, only their general survived. Alright. Money gained would allow me to build more farms. But the replenishment would mean that I use less supplies. Here, king! Kings or crosses. To put a stamp on this land, you plan to start minting your own currency. Um, I still want to start sucking up to the English a bit more. So we'll put a cross on it. Looking up, you have made some initial moves to gain the approval of your subjects, both noble and peasant. To build on this, take account of your populace's wishes and consider your behaviour and choices when you make war. So I think that my English is improving because I'm not currently at war with other English factions. I'm currently fighting Northumbria, who are a Viking faction. But the army is getting a little concerned. Although your army remain loyal and well motivated, beware becoming complacent and losing the respect of your men. Warriors who believe in their leader will give the best service. We're fine. Everything's fine. Food supply still remains an issue. Are we still in famine mode? We are. Okay. Building requires repair. It's buildings that require resources, food. We have a couple with low loyalty. Ulf needs stuff. Where is Ulf? Ulf is in Norwich. Norwich is only upset because of the famine. Uh, Enred is in Canterbury. Canterbury is unbelievably happy, even during a famine. So you definitely just need to get better at taxing people. Which you are. Good. Right, loyalty. Why is loyalty a problem? Too many estates? Yes. Right, who's the most disloyal? Probably Rothgar here. Or Elfwine. No, we'll give something to Rothgar. Rothgar, you can have... Turasig. Wherever that is. And that should resolve all loyalty issues. It does. Good. Right, Guthrum. Guthrum is getting replenishment again. Oh, but yeah, that's just because of supply usage. Damn them! This is almost a, a, a reason for war right there. Damn it, Stratclut. Damn you! Lancaster is mine! I'm really annoyed now because I could have gone for Lancaster directly with uh, Guthrum and taken it, then used the army in Manchester to take Otter Gamelli, Gamel, Gamili, wherever that is. Otter Gimli? Where even is this? I'm gonna have to have a look. Oh mighty Google, show me your maps. Nope, not go. Google. Map. And then I need to look for Meme Chester, I mean Manchester. Which is there. No, that's Morecambe. That's Blackburn. It's just Liverpool, isn't it? No, because Liverpool's here. That's north of Liverpool. Formby? Southport? Place that is no longer on the map? Yeah, it kind of looks like it might be Southport. So, Lancaster's there. Yeah, I think that is Southport. Am 
Modern day Southport. Okay. <laughs> that was the joke. It's not Otter Gimli, I just had an image of an otter and a dwarven helm. Okay, yeah, that is pretty funny. And yes, I was kind of thinking the same thing when you said that. I was like, mm -hmm. all right, um, yeah, my supply issues are becoming kind of critical. So, at what point do we go from famine to not quite so famine, but still kind of bad? We pledge your service. Because I feel like I just need to declare war on Stratclot just to keep the wrecking train going. Although, really, Gwynedd is probably the bigger threat. We'll pledge our service! So you gain supplies when raiding. So I totally could just go and raid... You can Lancaster. I'll show my appreciation for the place by raiding it. Um, you can rely on us. Look to the mighty Wikipedia in Southport. Okay, cool. I really wish I knew exactly what was causing this food issue. Because I don't think it's the the, uh, the units. It must be the buildings. The buildings must have just, like, added 300 more food requirement? Maybe? Possibly? I don't know. Alright, Guthrum's still there. You're still over there. Fanro is there. Aeth and Faith is down here. I really wish I could rename characters. I've definitely missed a thing with that. Uh, you're still where you are. Okay, so it's the bringers of Cyan who are going to attack Hastings. And they have no reinforcements. So I'm just going to do this, and this. Please don't let the cavalry die. Nordman's been destroyed. The rebel army are still just hanging around at sea. Now, I did lose one other province. There it is. That would be you, so haha, <laughs> have another army very nearby. You can just head down that way. Now, I am going to be earning 4,000 next turn, so I think we'll be alright. I just need to keep the food production rolling in. Supplies are going to be running out soon, though. Alright, so be it. Let's start raiding. We'll raid these guys because we know that we have a lot of armies here in the north rather than Gwynedd, which does kind of poke into us in several locations. So we're going to stick you on the bridge right there. We're just going to raid Stratclut. Oh, you're actually losing supplies because you're in foreign territory. Marching formation. Yeah, you're, you're losing a lot. Okay, never mind. No, you're just going to go in garrison. Same with... In fact, if you were garrisoned... You gain plus three from being in friendly territory. Well, at least we're not losing more. So where possible, we should just garrison up. For victory! Enemy blood will flow! All right. Less talking, more raiding. High tier Grand Hall added almost a hundred each. Three hundred is unreasonable. You mean the Grand Hall uses a hundred food? That's crazy. I'm not sure how many of those I have. 
This is where it gets painful. Northumbria were just wiped out. Low supplies for the bringers of Cyan. Yep, they are going to be suffering attrition next turn. Guthrum, staying put. Ingvar is moving to lead. with you. Stab. I have achieved greater rank. We'll see this through. And you leveled up. Glorious. Uh, more quartermaster. Plus ten suppliers, commanded force our own armies and governed province. There we go. And how many supplies are you using right now? I mean, you're, you're gaining a lot. We're <laughs> back to 320. Damn it, that was improving for a while. Uh, okay, civic. Rural enterprises and then fertile lands. This is at least going to increase my money fairly substantially. Buildings require repair. Those do not produce food. You do. Uh, oh, that one. Does not produce food. Don't care. Well, I should care because that's a fairly high level resource building place. And that is super, super cheap. So is that. Never mind. We'll, we'll, we'll repair them. Our garrisons are... Taking some pretty hefty attrition. Oops. You two do need to be promoted. Do I want to? Yes. Yes, I do want to spend money. Blood will flow. We will flow. I mean, if I absolutely have to, I'll disband one of the armies. Though, obviously, I would much rather not do that. Is actually quite cheap. Wait, Guthrum's army only cost 900? That's because Guthrum is an absolute military boss. Just, yeah, maximum quarter love master means much less upkeep. It's only 5, I think. Yep, tier 5, Great Hall consumes 75, up from 30, 45 increase. 8 of those, and yeah. Alright, fair enough. So many public order issues. And I'm building a fair number of farms, but clearly nowhere near enough. Guildhall, Tanner, Tradeport, Martyrs, Mint, and Mint all gained food consumption. Oh, so Middlesex with, yeah, they're losing 150 a turn, just here. Minus 30, minus 60. Only the pub doesn't use it. Actually, the guild will use an awful lot. Yeah, this is getting to such a problematic level. I think I am just going to have to disband one of the armies. I think it might need to be you. You're so experienced. I mean, you're not as experienced as some of the others, but you are pretty darn experienced and you do use almost 200 a turn. If they have no bread, let them eat cake. How does the pub not use it? I don't know. Oh, of course, you were going to Manchester so you can get your suppliers going. So everyone except for one army should be at home now. Should be garrisoned, I mean. 
A worthy bride. Ooh. Yes. Plus five supplies. Absolutely. Go for it. Have fun. <laughs> it's going worse. 350. <laughs> it's because I'd set up a whole bunch of buildings to build and clearly those were like food consumers rather than producers. Although being out of supply isn't actually reducing, isn't prov uh, proving, uh, isn't providing attrition as I thought it would. It just means that you're not going to be replenishing. Which right now I'm kind of okay with. Right, Chelmsford's risen up and revolted. Who's nearest? Well, actually, having two armies up here is kind of wasteful. Let's go. So we'll send you to Worcester. We'll send you to Manchester. Our foe shall fall. I guess we'll send you up towards Over London. Out. Although, no. Ah, oh, crap, you're not going to be home now. I was going to say, I'm going to send you because you're actually slightly... Oh, you not necessarily, but there are other armies slightly closer. I should have totally just stayed in Lincoln or something, so you're not using up supplies as you're marching. Well. Wessex is the most food-rich region. I believe so, yeah. <laughs> the reason for why the pubs don't use food is because the Norsemen are in agreement that whatever the English are serving in the pubs is not food. <laughs> so some have been destroyed. Yeah, okay, now they're losing troops. So that is a thing. It just doesn't count as attrition. It, it counts as like a separate event thing. Um, right, which army? It's you. So you're going to have to stop by Drayton on the way. <laughs> God damn it. So in fact, what you could do... Through the face. Honourable, but savvy. If you want to increase your people's regard for you further, consider how you treat both enemies and friends. After winning a battle, try releasing rather than killing captives. After securing a ransom, of course. So my relations with the English during this uprising is actually improving, because all the places that are rising up are Viking. That's hilarious. Right, you're going to head down towards Canterbury. Oh, it's too bad that you can't quite reach there. Oh, well. You can rely on us. You're in a base. You're in a base. You're in a base. Building requires repair. Food production? Yes. Food production? No. Yes, actually, you are. Of course, salt production would be food production because that's how you preserve food in this era. Uh, no. 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 Super duper tempting, but no. Pottery, no. Norfolk, yes. I'm killing 15 food per. It's getting worse! It's gonna hit 400 before it goes down. <laughs> I have a feeling that this patch is completely balked at this game. Maybe I should start as Gwynedd. It was minus 432 until I took the town back. Oh, okay. I'm thinking they changed the balance to such an extent you can't support mass upgrades anymore, even with the coin. Yeah, I agree. And I kind of prefer it that way. Because it was kind of ridiculous what you could do with Wessex. We have risen up. Bring us a sign of losing another 180. Oh, please don't be food production. <laughs> Supplies. 
The skies have darkened and the sun hides in the shade throughout the day. What patch could possibly have caused this grave omen to occur? It's too perfect. That really is just a <laughs> creative assembly. Applies patch. Armies die. You can rely on us. Ready for battle. Right, so Fanro, you are still heading down to here. We'll see this through. Right, where's that one place that just rose up? Ah, it's here. And here. Our foes shall fall. Um, you're probably just going to hang around. You're probably not. Their offspring. Who are we playing as? We are. We started as East Engle. We are now Danelaw. That's a lot of skirmishes. Thankfully, I have a lot of archers who trump skirmishes. So what do you guys think? Should we switch to somebody else or continue trying to save this? Because don't get me wrong, it is pretty funny. Does this have what we call tag switching to Paradox? Um, no, but you can just start a new game as a different faction. getting allies. I don't need allies. It's my town garrison. Um, right. So they put all the spearmen on the sides. So they put their... Wait. Their center is just the... Okay. Um, I see a way of dealing with this. So if their center is just the skirmishers, we just do something like that. We just get our cavalry in the center. Everyone back here, just so I can see what the heck is going on. Take your orders. Right, archers are going to go in the center, like so. And Axemen. Axemen. They're going to go on that flank where you can deal with the spears. Spearmen. Our foes will fall. You're going to go on that flank. The cavalry is going to go. Just ahead of the archers. Boss man is going to take the center on his own. And reinforcements arrive when reinforcements arrive. That's not what I wanted. Do that. And then move you. Launch forwards. All of. In fact, I could have just selected everyone gone. You go forwards to this position. Do that. Except I do want you guys going faster, and I want you guys going faster. Go! Wipe them from history. They do have one swordsman unit there. A reinforcements have arrived. But all of their spears are on the flanks. Ready for war. Attack! We are great. We have discovered the enemy's hidden units. Forward! The enemy approaches. Get them! Get them! Hurry! Archers! We found Are you bomb. really going to turn around? Okay. Watch it! Got them! Keep 
The battle is turning in our favor. Speedman! Glory and plunder with Speed Warrior. Bowman! Fire your missile! Recite cavalry! Break down! The men have been routed! They are leaving the field! These are worthy sacrifices. I mean, they killed over a hundred of the enemy each. So yeah, run. It's fine. Shoot the javelins. guys quite a long way but yeah we are kind of trouncing them pretty hard these javelins are showing their flank to my archers as well I mean this is one hell of a skirmish there's just troops all over the place but we are grinding our way through it's a full unit a minute ago see they flee before our might Where's the fight? Up the pace, man. We've got the numbers on our side. Fear. Those three are there. You guys are fine. It will be the archers and the javelins who arrive first. Our general is under attack! General's crushing. Archers. You guys, shoot the general. Axemen. Hadn't quite realized how close they were to us. That's my archer line to me. Buckling. They're buckling pretty quickly. The enemy general is dead! That helps. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to turn just just there. This is point blank range for my art and you turn your backs. Swordsman! That's not gonna end well for you. That's really not going to end well for you. And there's the victory. Though this was not a siege, so I should try and kill as much as possible. Which means all of you need to stop attacking. Let's see if we can hunt any of them down. You must need to get your eye in for this. Looks like complete chaos to me. This battle was pretty chaotic. I mean, usually I, I more favor 
solid battle lines, clash with the enemy, like holding good formations. But this one, they put all of their missile units in the center of the formation, so of course I'm going to hit the center with everything I've got. And this was the result. I lost 500 men, they lost 2,400. Decisive victory, darn right it was. Pretty pleased with that. I thought I did, <laughs> I did outnumber them by a thousand. Yeah, see the cavalry, seventy-eight kills, one hundred seventeen kills. I, I, I would say they, they sold their lives well because these are the guys that are going to do the damage. See, even now, even with like the much reduced numbers, it was still the javelins who did all the damage. Their front lines, they're just no match for my far more elite front lines. And javelins are actually kind of scary when they meet, like, frontline troops. So, well, I did lose the cavalry. Oh, well, I'll replace them. Uh, I'm going to take them. That's not a lot of money. I'll take them. Onward! To glory! War fervor has increased. Your soldiers are eager to serve and look forward to bringing glory to their king. Darn right they do. By no means! And the king is Guthrum. That's all you want to do. Oops. Uh, no. So we could go and finish them off, and we we'll frankly probably through. ought to. All of you could get upgraded gear, but Attack. I don't think I want to save for it right now. Um, I think I'm just going to auto-resolve defensively. Oh, I I've said it once or twice, I like that animation. I do like that animation. Good, my cavalry didn't die. Marching formation. Enemy blood will flow. And then you just need to get On back to, to a glory. population center. Meanwhile, ah, this might actually fix my problem. Plus twenty percent food production in all regions in three turns' time. And oh, maybe I don't need to start again as Wales. Because what's my production? 500? 600? That would just be... 120. No, that would not solve the problem. Yeah, alright. I'll save it. Because I've been really enjoying this game, so... But it's a badly needed patch, so I'm not going to be holding it against them too much.